Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of an exciting replay between Slush and Silver here in the Zonaga Caverns. A group of Vikings now going to be able to um, perhaps shoot down and take down a group of Corruptors. Corruptors, however, have that Contaminate ability and be able to deal additional damage towards these Vikings. There are also uh, at least 7 Hydralists underneath in order to try to deal damage towards these Vikings as well. Going to go ahead and start up this replay once again as these Corruptors do move a little bit more quickly than these Vikings. So those, um, those Vikings are not going to be able to attack, move, and shoot shoot and scoot against these against these corruptors nearly as well broodlords now and um, just currently massing off over here perhaps going to try to do one last final engagement back over here the com uh, command center now throwing down two additional refineries and also getting supply depots on that high ground in order to prevent any sort of uh, additional pressure we do have one infester this infester if it's able to get off a critical fungal growth on on these units and then perhaps get the hydralis underneath to shoot down those vikings those broodlords would be able to finish this game but that infester would be very very well exposed there are too many marauders i think for that to really happen as now another sensor tower being laid down silver sitting on almost 2000 gas now training up i guess the only thing he can train up ravens gonna go ahead and start um, training up and um, start producing uh, ravens perhaps to get some auto turrets and those auto turrets do a decent amount of damage this hatchery down to 341 hit points as now these marines are over here does not know about this expansion coming in from slush i believe slush has the advantage at this time with the stronger army and the better economy and as marines not getting and just continuing to get pushed we do have a decent amount of vikings trying to engage will it be enough as these now are gonna go ahead and take down one of those vikings doing one shoot and scoot those corruptors able to deal a lot of damage will they be able to take on another viking there we go marines however will be able to use stim and get underneath and try to start shooting down those corruptors however corruptors do have decent amount of army with uh, what two armor so um, we'll be able to reduce the amount of damage from these marines pretty significantly down to seven per attack there are also some thors joining in on this fight raven wants to drop down a point defense drone doesn't have enough energy just quite yet in comes a fungal growth hydralis and broodlings now making their way over corruptors need to try to take down the last of those vikings need to take down this air fight is slush going to be able to deal enough damage with this attack corruptors now in the air trying to take down that last group of viking there we need another fungal growth on top of these in infested terrain there we go however all the broodlords are taken down so now no more broodlords and no more vikings so it's going to be a pure ground battle back and forth these fights go slush does have two more additional corruptors to morph into broodlords or five more back over here we do have a decent amount of spine crawlers as these roaches pulling back once again so silver is still staying in this game with level two weapons upgrade siege tanks now going to start splashing away and start dealing damage towards these spine crawlers from that safety of that 13 range attack and down it goes a queen now trying to shoot down oh gonna get torn uh, just find itself on the wrong end of a punisher grenade there as these units now massing over here i do not see what well, more infested terran or infestors currently being grouped and now this is in comes a flanking on both sides so roach is now pushing in siege tanks pushing and uh, taking a lot of damage one point defense drone in the air however that spying father now doing some damage towards that barracks and the army of silver sig significantly lower as this orbital command man gonna get shot out of the sky by these hydro it's gonna start burning in just a moment as those corruptors now giving chase able to take and um, take down some of these vikings however marines on the ground offering their support army 4600 slush um sitting with a lot of roaches now trying to regenerate and slush uh, slush saying why is it so hard to kill a terran here but he significantly has this advantage now able to um, just keep track dealing a lot of damage towards um, using that infestors in, in order to get some really really critical fungal growth off throughout this match slush now continuing the mine out over here and slush doing a great job so far and just keeping in this game now three two upgrades on these hydralis infestors do have some upgrades as well i do not see any broodlords currently being trained as perhaps another hatchery should be placed down over here to get the additional gas we do see two additional extractors now being brought in over here it is now currently one base of silver versus the essential i guess i'll call this a half a base so two and a half bases of slush production wise roaches and hydralis now continue to move out one siege tank vikings moving in down goes that orbital command and now silver will not be able to mine in comes a fungal growth marines unable to back off roaches and hydralis simply moving in and able to finish off the rest of this army silver saying gg slush taking this game and after what um, almost 30 minutes here on here on uh 
Zonaga Cavern. So a quick recap of this game. Slush, use, I think the hero unit of this game would have to be the Infestors. Those Infestors catching a lot of fungal growth very, very critically. However, there was a little bit of a mismanagement by Slush and casting a fungal growth at the wrong time and then losing one Infestor as this Infestor came down in over here. I think if Silver had lost um, about, uh, it looked like a lot of red SCVs, perhaps anywhere from 15 to 20 of these SCVs as they were mining here earlier, he would have been much further behind economically speaking now slush and um, also using the spine crawlers very very well knowing that he was going to go for a very very gas intensive army with hydralis corruptors brood lords and infestors so deciding to pump drones and train them into spine crawlers was a very very smart decision on his part as it made any sort of Terran push have to slow down in order to get siege tanks to blast away and clear those spine crawlers from a safe distance Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay here between Silver and Slush in the Zonaga Caverns.